I would like to start the short time with the Lord with the Gospel of St. Matthew. And our lady in Medjugorje said that's the key gospel. You need to read this gospel every morning before going to work, to school, to remind you who is in charge of your life and your future. To stop worrying and living in fear. Jesus says, I tell you not to be worried about food and drink for yourself or about clothes for your body. Is not life more important than food? And is not the body more important than clothes? Can you, any of you, add a day to your life by worrying about it? Do not worry and say, what are we going to eat? What are we going to drink? Or what shall we wear? The pagans busy themselves with such things. But your heavenly Father knows that you need, that you need them all. Set your hearts first on the kingdom and justice of God. And all these things will also be given to you. Do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Very often we notice, Lord, how simple and powerful your words were. No big discourse on the kingdom of God. Just look around and say the truth about your kingdom of heaven. If God is in the first place, everything is in the right place in your life. That's the truth. First is the kingdom of God. And the rest will be added. By my Lord, my life is totally opposite. The worries and fears of this life kills me every day. I must change this. I cannot carry on like this. Lord, you are in charge of my life. I need to make a few changes in my life. Important moments come at God's time. And this is God's time. This is a very special time for each one of us here present. So much of life is on trust. Living in this time of darkness and confusion, there's not much left but to put all my trust in the Lord. For my family, my children, my job, my finances, my health, my priesthood, my ministry. Jesus, help me to put all my trust in you. To be patient and filled with hope. Now I would like to use the words of Jesus. Written down by Father Dolinda when he was imprisoned in Vatican. When he was totally abandoned and rejected by his brother priests and bishops 
and the church. When he was most of his priestly life living in darkness, he never ever stopped trusting the Lord. And Padre Pio was saying to him, to the people coming from Naples, to Petrarchina, why are you coming here? You've got a saint man in Naples. He is a saint priest. We don't understand how God does these things. We try to reject suffering and crosses, misfortunes and darkness. But very often there are the narrow gates, the narrow paths leading us into the real Lord. Not the false Christianity, cafeteria Christianity, but leading us into the cross. And it's the only way forward. I would like you to look at Jesus now. Each one of you. And I will be reading these words very slowly. They are for you, each one of you. Jesus says, Why do you confuse yourselves by worrying? Leave the care of your affairs to me, and everything will be peaceful. I say to you in truth, that every act of true, blind, complete surrender to me produces the effect that you desire and resolves all difficult situations of your life. Surrender to me does not mean to fret, to be upset or to lose hope. Nor does it mean offering to me a worried prayer, asking me to follow you and change your worry into prayer. It is against this surrender, deeply against it, to worry, to be nervous, and to desire to think about the consequences of anything. It is like the confusion that children feel when they ask their mother to see to their needs and then try to take care of those needs for themselves so that their childlike efforts gets in their mother's way. Surrender means to close your eyes of the soul, to turn away from thoughts of tribulation and to put yourself in my care so that only I act, saying, you take care of it. How many things I do when the soul in so much spiritual and material need turns to me, looks at me and says to me, Jesus, you take care of it but then close its eyes and rest. Close your eyes and rest. In pain, you pray for me to act. But that in, I act in the way you want. You do not turn to me. Instead, you want me to adopt your ideas to follow you the way you want to, things to happen. You are not sick people who ask the doctor to cure you, but rather sick people who tell the doctor how to. So do not act this way. Don't tell me what to do. But pray as I taught you in the Our Father. Hallowed be thy name. That is, be glorified in my need. Thy kingdom come. That is, let all that is in us and in the world be in accord with your kingdom. 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That is, in our need, decide as you see fit for our temporal and internal life. If you say to me truly, thy will be done, which is the same as saying you take care of it, I will intervene with all my power and I will resolve the most difficult situation of your life. You see evil growing instead of weakening. Do not worry. Close your eyes and say to me with faith, Thy will be done. You take care of it. I say to you that I will take care of it. And that I will intervene as does a doctor. And I will accomplish miracles when they are needed. Do you see that the person, sick person is getting worse? Do not be upset. But close your eyes and say, you take care of it. And I say to you that I will take care of it. And that there is no medicine more powerful than my loving intervention. By my love, I promise this to you. And when I must lead you on the path different from one you see, I will prepare you. I will carry you in my arms. I will let you find yourself like children who have fallen asleep in their mother's arms on the other bank of the river. What troubles you and hurts you immensely are your reason, your thoughts and worry. And your desire at all costs to deal with the, what affects you by your own power. You are sleepless. You want to judge everything, direct everything and see to everything. And you surrender to human strength or worse, to men themselves, trusting in their intervention. That is what hinders my words and my views. My dear child, oh, how much I wish from you to this surrender. My dear child, how much I wish from you this surrender to help you and how I suffer when I see you so agitated. Satan tries to do exactly this, to agitate you and to remove you from my protection and to throw you into the jaws of human initiative. I beg you, my child, trust only in me, rest in me, surrender to me in everything. And listen, my child, I perform miracles in proportion to your full surrender to me and to your not thinking of yourself. I saw treasure of graces when you are in the deepest poverty. No person of reason, no thinker has never performed miracles, not even among the saints. He does divine works whosoever surrenders to God. So don't think about it anymore. I will take care of your things. I promise this to you, my child. My dear child, close your eyes and let yourself be carried away on the flowing current of my grace. Close your eyes and do not think of the present, turning your thoughts away from the future, just as you would from temptation. Repose in me, believing in my goodness, 
And I promise you by my love that if you say you take care of it, I will take care of it. I will console you, liberate you, and guide you. My dear child, pray always in readiness to surrender. And you will receive from me the great peace and great rewards. Even when I confer on you the grace of immolation, of repentance and of love. Then what does suffering mean? What does suffering matter? It seems impossible to you. Close your eyes and say with all your soul, right now, Jesus, you take care of it. Do not be afraid. I am with you. A thousand prayers cannot equal one single act of surrender. Remember this well, my child. A thousand of your prayers cannot equal one single act of surrender. When you say, Oh Jesus, I surrender my, myself to you. Take care of everything. Oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. Mother Mary, I'm yours now and forever. Through you and with you, I always want to belong completely to Jesus. Now say, from the depth of your heart, whatever the problem is, leave your worries right here. Just on this altar are the food of the monstrous. Nothing else you say today are the simple words. Jesus, you take care of everything. In other words, Jesus, I trust in you. In other words, believe in me and never break away. Look at Jesus now and say as never before with faith, you take care of everything, my Lord. Beautiful words of Jesus to Father Dolindo. Please spread the message. He's become more and more well known priest, working from the other side. I believe me, he is the Padre Pio for our times. For us, priests, pray for your priests, pray for your bishops. You don't know what's happening behind the doors. You don't know how many tragedies and priests' hearts are broken, frustrated, weak. They need your help. They need your support. They need your prayers. It's not an easy time for anyone. But tell them about this prayer of Father Dolindo, Jesus' prayer. Tell them to pray every day, every morning. You do it. And stop worrying. All this in his hands. 
before, before Father Brandon will take the Blessed Sacrament away and bless you around. When you just say, Jesus, take care of everything, don't say anything else. He knows. I would like us to say the prayer, the miracle prayer of Father Peter Mary Rookie. I haven't met him, but he made a great impact in my priestly ministry. And I always, whenever I am, I always say this prayer because it's the power, especially before Blessed Sacrament. So we're going to say this prayer, this prayer with faith and trust and then the priest will take the Blessed Sacrament ranch and then you just say simply, take care of my life. And as you leave this today, back to your churches, your house, your families. May this prayer become your prayer. Jesus, take care of everything. Can you stand, please? <coughs> Are you ready to say this prayer? Yes. My dear friends, before the Lord's Let's say this prayer. Just don't say what is wrong with you, what you need. He knows. There's a powerful prayer before him. And then as I said, when Father Brandon would go around, just say, Jesus, take care of my life. Nothing else is more needed. Leave everything here. Don't take this huge bag, bags with you with worries back again to the next conference whenever. Leave it over here. Take care, Jesus. He will as he promised. So now is the miracle prayer. Repeat after me. Lord Jesus, I come before you just as I am. I'm sorry for my sins. I repent of my sins. Please forgive me. In your name, I forgive all others. For what they have done against me. I renounce Satan. The evil spirits. And all the works. I give you my entire self Lord Jesus. Now and forever. I invite you into my life Jesus. I accept you. As my Lord, my God, and my Savior. Heal me. Change me. Strengthen me. In body, soul, and spirit. Come, Lord Jesus. Cover me with your precious blood. And fill me with your Holy Spirit. I love you, Lord Jesus. I praise you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I shall follow you every day of my life. Amen. 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 Mary, Mother of Sorrows, Queen of Peace, all you angels and saints, please help me. Amen. 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 Now, Father Brandon's taking Jesus around with a blessing. And you just say, Jesus, take care of me. I love you. I trust in you.
sing all the divine praises out of our hearts. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be the Holy Immaculate Conception. Blessed be a glorious Assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, his spouse most chaste. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. To the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, and to the Holy Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall. World without end, Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning. Could you stand, please, before we finish? Sorry, we're just running late, but that's the grace of the Lord. This is my request, I just asked the musicians if we could sing Amazing Grace. But can we do it with power, okay? With hands up and with really power coming from our hearts. Because today we've got Father Dolindo with us on our side. That's the message. Take care of everything, Jesus. I'm not leaving this place. The same, this is the same person. So let us praise the Lord and sing Amazing Grace.
Salve with open hearts. Salve. Ave Maria. Ave. Ave. Ave Maria. Well, thank you. Thank you very much, Father Peter. God bless you. Fantastic. Thank you very much for a.